Do you want to know the difference between a great presenter and a bad presenter? Simple. A great presenter crafts a narrative for their audience and structures his presentation in story form. He uses images instead of text, evidence instead of facts, analogies instead of logic. In contrast, a bad presenter uses bullet points instead of stories, theory instead of concepts, and text and data instead of images. According to the Pulitzer Prize winning historian Doris Cairns Godwin, villagers would come from far and wide to hear Abraham Lincoln, then a prairie lawyer with a gift for storytelling. Lincoln didn't have the benefit of modern technology. He stood on a tree stump instead of a dead stage and PowerPoint would be invented for another 130 years. Yet Lincoln could simultaneously educate, entertain, and move his audiences. While the tools of communication have changed since Lincoln delighted crowds with his storytelling techniques, the human brain has not changed. Our minds are wired to understand and internalize stories. We think in narrative and enjoy consuming content in story form. Understanding the differences between presenting and storytelling is critical for a leader's ability to engage an audience and move them into action. My name is Ernesto Verdugo. For the past 20 years, I've helped speakers, trainers, business owners, and high-level executives become effective presenters. Today, I want to share with you three simple strategies you can use to help you stand out the next time that you give a presentation. One. Whenever you're putting together a presentation, remember to craft a narrative and structure it in story form. Forget logic and sequence. Take people on a journey. Remember, PowerPoint by itself is not a storytelling tool. It is a digital delivery mechanism. If you fill out a slide with text and data, few people will pay attention to you and most will remember nothing about what you said during your presentation. Few people can process bullet points and text on a slide. After all, a picture is worth a thousand words. Two, never use PowerPoint default templates. One line of text below a picture should be enough to communicate any concept or idea. Whenever you use PowerPoint, remember, slides should be designed to complement a story, not to replace the storyteller. Use one slide with a picture for every idea or concept you want to talk about. Use your slides to tell a story. Help people connect the dot instead of showing them data. A story has a theme, attention-grabbing moments, heroes and villains, and a satisfying conclusion. Let me show you how to add Hollywood blockbuster storytelling to your presentations. Nicely designed slides cannot compensate for a poorly structured story. Award-winning movie directors read or write their story before picking up the camera. They see the movie play out by sketching drawings of each scene on their storyboards. Let me show you how effective presenters think through the elements of their content long before they open PowerPoint. If you understand how to put together a story, your effectiveness as a presenter will increase 300%. You see, bad presenters use text to remember what they have to say next. Great presenters use pictures or video to bring life to their thoughts and ideas. While serving as a commander in the International Space Station, Chris Hadfield became a social media sensation by picking up a guitar by singing David Bowie's Space Oddity while floating weightless. Back on Earth, his celebrated TED Talk has attracted more than 11 million views. Hadfield's presentation, What I Learned from Going Blind in Space, was an astonishing display of visual storytelling. His PowerPoint deck contained 35 slides with no text. Instead, Hatfield relied on pictures, images, animations, and videos to introduce the audience to a world few will ever experience. That's a lot simpler than you might think. Let me show you how. Researchers have found out that your audience will recall about 10% of the content if they simply hear the information. However, when you add images and tell stories, your audience will recall up to 65%. If you want to engage an audience, build a presentation that favors pictures to complement the story you tell. A combination of images and words improves learning much more than words can do on their own. Bad presenters dump data. Great presenters humanize the data with stories. I can show you how to do that. It is very hard for people to assimilate data, yet everyone can comprehend stories. Poor presenters are predictable. Great presenters surprise their audiences. Most presentations are boring because they are predictable. We know what comes next. Another slide of bullet points followed by another and another. A good story, however, has the element of surprise. Let me show you how to surprise your audience. 
When Steve Jobs introduced the first iPod, he told the audience that the music player could store 1,000 songs instead of talking about the technical data and the gigabytes of storage. While other music players on the market could have done the same claim, Jobs explained that none of the competitors could fit in your pocket. And with the flair of a magician pulling out a rabbit out of his hat, Jobs reached into the pocket of his jeans and pulled out the smallest MP3 play on the market. 1,000 songs in your pocket became one of the most iconic taglines in product history. Although many people consider Steve Jobs one of the most outstanding business presenters of our time, the Apple co-founder simply knew the secret to winning over any audience, and that is create a presentation that complements a well-crafted story. The human brain pays attention to novelty, twists, turns, and unexpected events. Our brain perks up when we detect something that breaks the pattern. While you do not need to pull out products out of your pocket to grab the audience's attention, do plan to surprise people with something they do not expect. Let me help you become a better presenter. I can teach you how to turn a text and data loaded presentation into a powerful and convincing story that will inspire people to take action. Contact me on the link below and let me help you shine on stage. Three, poor presenters practice silently. Great presenters rehearse out loud. Rehearse your presentation as if it was a performance, not a presentation. Most business presentations are boring because speakers forget they are performing, not presenting. A great presentation informs, inspires, engages, and entertains. Practice your vocal delivery, adding perfectly timed pauses and varying the pace of your speech. Nobody wants to listen to a monotone. I can show you how to use your voice to command attention. If you are planning to stand up in front of an audience, practice stand up. If you're going to be sitting on a Zoom call, take a seat and rehearse like if you're going to be presenting to a virtual audience. When you see yourself as a storyteller, the presentation your audience sees will change. Don't let presentation software get in the way of giving your audience information they will pay attention to and retain. If you feel what I have shared with you is helpful, make sure to subscribe to this channel and watch the video appearing on your screen right now or book a free consultation with me on the link below. I will help you become an outstanding presenter.